Mohammed Hussein ran as soon as he saw soldiers coming. He was shot during his escape, but still managed to limp for several days across the border to Bangladesh. The Myanmar military just came and started shooting at everyone. I saw two people die, one man, one woman. I was lucky to just get shot in the leg. Hussein is now staying in the settlement in Balukali, populated by more than a thousand new arrivals from Myanmar. The traumatic experiences of the past months are still fresh on their minds. They killed my husband. They cut him to death. They killed two of my children as well. There are more than a dozen new settlements like this one in southeast Bangladesh. There are so many new settlements springing up that markets in the area are now full of people selling tarp, ropes and bamboo all the ingredients a refugee needs to build a makeshift home. Aid workers are concerned about hygiene and sanitation in the new camps, which are completely unplanned. Several cases of measles have already been reported. My children have both been coughing and coughing. They've got all these marks on their body and a fever. I'm really worried. The nearest clinic is several kilometers away and this couple have no choice but to walk. With no idea on when they might be able to return, they face a future full of uncertainty. Mahar Sattar, Al Jazeera, Balukali, Bangladesh.